Hello everyone, this is Meghnath. Welcome to C Programming Tutorials. This is the first lecture of this tutorial series. For any suggestions or feedback, feel free to write to meghnath at gmail.com or you can also tweet me at meghnath for you. So with that, let's get started. If you want, let me open Notepad. So if you want to work on any programming language, either it can be C language or C++, or it can be Java programming language, or it can be C Sharp, or any programming language, you need to have two softwares, basically. So one is editor, where you type the code, and you also require a compiler. So compiler will check for the errors, that uh, syntax errors or semantics errors, so that you have written the code. So, so you need an editor f where you can type the code, and you need a compiler which will check for the syntax errors programming errors right so now I'll show you so we have different softwares that are available for working on C programming so now I'll, I'll show you some of the softwares that you can use for working on C language so the first and foremost is the code block software so which is very user friendly and so that's the software that we are going to use uh, for this tutorial series in case if you already installed any software and you want to use the same so the lectures, so the demos that I'm going to show will work perfectly the same way in any other editor as well. So the softwares that are available, some of the softwares that are available for C programming language are code blocks, or you can also have uh, Dev C++, you can also have um, Visual Studio Community Edition. So this is from Microsoft. Or you can also use Turbo C++. So some of the colleges uh, will still be using Turbo C++ software. So you can use any of these softwares or even any other editors that you already have for learning C programming, right? So in this lecture, I'll show you how to install CodeBlocks software. So now, so what I'll do is I'll search for CodeBlocks download. So let me copy this, right click on this, copy. So let me open the browser. Now I'll paste it. So now I'm searching for CodeBlocks download. You can see some results. The first result that you can see here is codeblocks.org slash downloads. So let me click on this. Now you can see the URL that uh, www.codeblocks.com slash downloads. Sorry, codeblocks.org slash downloads. Now once you scroll down a little bit, you can see here a binaries link. So let me click on the binaries. And here for Windows operating system, so in case if you're using Windows operating system, so you can see the software is listed here. And when you scroll down a little bit for Linux operating system, you can see the softwares that are listed here. And if you have Mac operating system, so you need to download this. So in this module, since my computer is Windows operating system, so you can see here, so let me open the folder and right click on this, right click on this PC, properties. And you can see that I have Windows 10 operating system. So what I'll do now is, so now I will be downloading here you can see a uh, code block setup is there or you can see code block setup non admin access. So what I'll be doing is I will be installing code blocks with MinGW setup. So you can see here so this the one which I highlighted is having code blocks editor plus MinGW is the compiler. So MinGW is a C sharp I mean C programming compiler. So now I'll be showing you how to download and install this. So this one software will be enough as which will work as an editor as well as compiler. Now you can see here, so I'll be clicking on this link. So now the respective link is here. So this link. So I'll click on this download, click on this and download the download the software. Let me click on this. Now now the download will start so you can see here, uh, you can see here the download is started. It's almost showing like 30 seconds uh, it'll be done. So now let's see this. Now almost halfway through, the download is almost, almost halfway through. Now once the download is done, I'll show you how to install the software. So the download is about to complete and it's done. So you can see that the download is done. Now what I'll do is I'll click on this and show in folder. 
let me click let uh, let's see in the folder and now this is a software that I need to install so right click on this run as administrator now it just asks for do you want to make changes for the computer click on yes and now so it's showing welcome to code block setup click on next and click agree and next now I'm fine with the path default path click on install so it'll take around less than a minute to complete the installation so you can see here it is extracting the files and it will complete the installation you can see that the installation is almost um, about to complete and it's almost done so it's saying do you want to run code blocks now uh, for now I'll click no and click on next and finish so we're done with installing code blocks so you can see here so let me verify this see here in the desktop it created an icon code blocks or when I click on start when I type code blocks so you can see that it's installed in my computer so in this module we learned how to install download and install code block software in the next module we will see the first C programming program hello world program so thank you and see you in the next module